Hi, welcome back to this course on working capital management. In the previous video, we learned about what is a trade credit and how it is used to promote the business, what are the terms and how they are used, what is the effective annual interest rate. So after understanding that, let us now move to understand how do we manage the receivables, how do we uh, really manage in practical way the receivables management. So to manage the receivables, you need to first determine a credit policy for your supply for your customers. So what does that mean? Uh, it means that you need to have a credit policy who you will be giving the credit to, how much the credit will be, what will be the credit term, and uh, what are the modes of payment and etc. 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 So there are three steps in establishing the credit policy of any company. The first is credit standards. That is a uh, easier way to establish the credit standards. What are the credit standards? How much, what will be the process? Uh, how the company will be applying for the credit? What forms they need to submit? What are the documents? Who will review? How many times it will be reviewed? What is the standard on giving the credit? Um, is there any limitation on credits uh, giving the credit? How many days initial trade credit we will be giving? So those are called credit standards. Then you will be establishing the credit term, how long and what is the trade cash discount terms. And then you will establish a collection policy, how fast, like who will collect the money and how fast we are going to collect and how it will be submitted to the company. So that is the, the process. So the first thing that is we need to establish the credit standards is we need to establish the credit center who will be, who we, who we will be giving the credit to, right? So there normally is required to establish the five, we say five C's of credit before we establish the credit standards. That is mean called character. So we need to look at the character of the company, character of the directors, their past defaults, their history, have they done any credit defaults in the past or not? And what else is their capacity? What are their financial situations? How much loan they already have? How much, uh, what are their liquidity ratios? So you can take my uh, financial analysis course to understand what are the ratios that will help you to understand. Basically, you need to look at your, their working capital ratio, cash conversion cycle, and also the debt to equity ratio, how much debt they already have, and uh, so forth. How much capital do they really have? Are they making any profits or not? Are they being into the... Uh, do they have any cash reserve? Do they have any um, uh, any other reserves? So that we can under we can ensure that they're gonna be lasting long. Are we gonna ask for any collateral, or is there any practice of asking collaterals in the organization? For example, in hospitality, we don't ask for any kind of collateral from the company. We just ask for personal guarantees of the directors or of the 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 uh, the key decision makers there we are not asking for any collateral but some companies like manufacturing or other companies they may have some collateral to get the credit you may have to do a bank guarantee you can you maybe have to deposit a bank guarantee with the with the company in order to avail the the credit then you have conditions what are the, the conditions for uh, for the company to uh, have in, engage with the credit do they have to apply for it? Do they, what are the other conditions for getting a credit? Maybe they have to update their directors every now and then. Will the company have access to their financial statements and audit? So these are the terms and conditions that you have to define. So these are the five C's that must be part of your credit policy. Who, what is their capacity? How will you judge it? What are the capital requirements for it? Do you require any collateral? And what are the conditions of this credit? Can you sue? Will you be charging any interest for delayed payments? And so and, and so forth. So this is the how you manage the uh, credit policy. So how do we uh, 